Hey guys, let's try some TikTok inspired mac and cheese. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I figured I'd give a try something I saw on TikTok. It's where you modify the mac and cheese, like really how you cook it, and apparently it turns out so much better. Now, I grew up really loving this stuff, so I am going to pretty much compare it to my memory of what this tastes like. And um, I mean, I've had it like within the last year, so it's not like I'm remembering from years ago. But if I need to, if it's just like I wasn't too impressed and you guys want to see me do the TikTok version right next to the box version directions, I will do that just to really compare and see if there's much of a difference. But let's jump in and make this thing. Now on TikTok, people obviously had variations of this, but this is the main idea. We're gonna use some water. In this case, I'm using one cup and a cup of milk. Now on the box, it says one fourth of a cup when it's done cooking. So it's not like this is the exact same amount. And we're gonna bring this to a simmer. So while this is simmering, I will point out that some of the recipes just used water and they just poured the noodles in at the same time and filled the water just above where the noodles were. So some of them didn't, didn't use milk at all or used milk after it was all cooked. But the one thing that all of the recipes had in common was we're gonna add our cheese sauce now. So this is getting ready to get hot enough for our noodles. I am gonna whisk this in and we're gonna see if this makes all the difference. Apparently letting the noodles cook in the cheese sauce, you know, makes all the difference and makes it taste oh so much better. So this looks like it's almost ready for the noodles to be put in. And we will also be adding in some butter once the noodles go in. I am now seeing enough of the simmer. So we're gonna pour the noodles in here and give it a good little mix. And I'm gonna let this cook uncovered. Some people covered it when they cooked it, uh, but we essentially want the water and milk to be absorbed by the noodles and cook off. So if we cover it, it'll keep a lot of moisture in there and we don't really want that. So let's see how this goes. But before I forget, I'm gonna add in the four tablespoons of butter that the box suggests you add once the noodles are all cooked. I'm gonna let this be in there and get all melty and delicious. I am going to turn down the heat just a little bit because it seems like it's a little too much of a rolling boil, uh, but you know, I can always turn it back up if I think that it's taking too long. So it's been about six minutes. We're approaching the threshold for when these noodles are supposed to be done. And you definitely want to continue to stir towards the end because it looks like my noodles are kind of getting stuck to the bottom. That's okay. I caught it in time. That's definitely something that doesn't happen when you are just boiling the noodles and then, you know, putting the sauce in later on. This does look delicious though. So it has been the like about seven or eight minutes and I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm actually gonna portion myself out a small little like two spoonfuls of this just as it is. And then I'm actually gonna add some cubed up sharp cheddar cheese. I don't have shredded. I would have used that because it will melt quicker. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people also add cheese and I've always added extra cheese, but usually it's Mexican blend. And I don't really want this to affect my review of just this basic box hack. So I'm gonna scoop some out, pour some in a little bowl, and then dump this cheese in and see how the two compare. Sorry about the AC going, it's really loud. Smell wise, it does smell differently than what I would hope it tastes like. <laughs> it doesn't smell quite, I don't know what it is. It doesn't smell quite like the final result of what I remember eating the last time I made this. Okay, this is very confusing. I, I do think it tastes different because in general, I think when you grow what you grow up eating is what you are naturally more inclined to really like better. I wanna say that my memory of box mac and cheese taste-wise is better. This one though is a lot more creamier because it was the milk was cooking in there and maybe it was the milk in the water that, you know, since the milk was getting cooked, maybe that affected the flavor of the end result, but it definitely is creamier. I can't say that I like it better 
maybe slightly less actually, but we're gonna see what with the added cheese what that does. I will say that because it's creamier, it doesn't taste as box-like, I guess, as what I remember. So if you're going for a more homemade feel to mac and cheese, this might be a good way to dupe your guests because it doesn't have the very strong box cheese taste. It's very creamy and, you know, I, I'd probably be a little confused like, man, did you make this by yourself or is this from a box? So I think it, it would kind of throw you off. So if you're looking to fool your guests into thinking they're having something completely homemade, this might be the way to go. But let's go try the sharp cheddar cheese infused noodles. Okay, here we go. First, since I didn't use like a super stringy cheese, we're not getting a nice cheese pool from this. People on TikTok, a lot of them use mozzarella. That's going to create that nice stringy texture. And that's kind of what I'm used to when I use the Mexican blend cheese. So this might actually even be different from my memories because I'd always use a different type of cheese and not necessarily sharp cheddar. It smells a little slightly more cheesy and I would expect that because I added more cheese. Let's see how this one tastes. I definitely get the hint of the sharp cheddar that I put in there and it vaguely reminds me slightly more like what I remember the boxed mac and cheese to taste like and that's probably because I always would add in more cheese just because I'm like a cheeseaholic. So, you know, the overall, you know, it still tastes good. I'm gonna completely eat this bowl and maybe even some more. Uh, yeah, overall it's good. It's definitely creamier and I, I do like that. It's also nice to not have to drain the noodles and dirty up like a sieve or a drain or whatever they're called, a colander. It, you, everything just happens in one pot. And if you are good at eyeballing liquids, you don't even have to measure out the one cup of milk and one cup of water. So, you know, it's, it's kind of less mess in some ways and it comes out with a nice creamy texture. So I really recommend trying it at least once, seeing if you like it, if you think it does taste slightly more homemade. You can also add in hot sauce. I've seen people add in hot sauce. Salt and pepper, obviously, you can add in. I didn't, I wanted to keep it simple. Uh, other different types of cheeses, you know, make it your own. But if you want a creamier boxed mac and cheese, this is the way to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video because I wanna keep eating. So if you guys like this and want to see me try more things from TikTok, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. I have a whole playlist of different things I've tried on TikTok and I think you guys would really like them. So make sure you check that out and subscribe if you guys are new. If you're just stumbling upon my channel, I take care of a lot more than just trying things I've seen on TikTok. I have a gender reveal coming up. I'm like 19 weeks pregnant today when I'm filming. And so we're gonna have a new little baby in this family. I have a th almost three year old. We're gonna have her birthday soon. So I'm excited about doing some party preps. So there's a lot coming up and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.